Okay, got some examples here. They're going to demonstrate repeated percentage change and its reverse when we are finding the original quantity. Okay, so the idea here is what do I need to do to multiply to what do I need to multiply by to increase by six percent? So there's one number you can multiply to increase by six percent. And to work that out, you need to think about the original amount being a hundred percent. We're going to add six percent to that, so we're going to work out a hundred and six percent. And 106% as a decimal is 1.06. And this is the number we need to multiply by to increase anything by uh, 6%. Similarly, if I need to decrease something by 6%, what do I need to multiply by? Well, if I start with 100% and I take away 6%, I actually want to find 94%. And that as a decimal is 0.94. So if I times by 0.94, I will find 94%. OK, just to demonstrate, let's have a look at a couple of examples. Here's one. Um, increase £80 by 8% per year for four years. So to do that question, I start with my £80. I multiply by 1.08 because I'm finding 108% because I'm increasing by 8% each year. And I'm doing it over four years. So I can times that by 1.08, another 1.08 for each year. And essentially, that is 1.08 to the power of four. And that would give me the answer. Um, another question where I'm going to decrease. To decrease by 8% per year for four years, I need to times by 0.92. Because if I decrease by 8%, I'm actually finding 92%. And I'm going to do that over four years. So I'm going to repeat that four times. So I'm going to do 0.92 to the power of four. Or I could just times by 0.92 four times. And again, that would give me the answer. The opposite of that is finding out the original cost after a percentage has been increased or decreased. Now, the biggest this is quite a, um, a common mistake to make in these sort of questions is to use this percentage on this amount. But what we really need to think about is what has actually happened here. We have got an original amount, I call it x, and I have multiplied by my percentage increase, which is 1.14 because I'm increased by 14%. I'm finding 114% and that is equal to £91.20. So to reverse that I need to divide by the 1.14. So x is going to be equal to £91.20 divided by 1.14 and that's £80. Okay. Similarly if I'm going to reduce by 16% I need to think about, well I'm starting with my original amount, I'm reducing by 16% so I'm actually finding 84% so I need to multiply by uh, 0.84 to reduce by 16% and that gives me £46.20. So if I want to find the original amount I need to do £46.20 divided by 0.84 and that should give me £55. Okay.